Hey everyone, Fungasm here. I'm here playing Banjo Kazooie. Last time we defeated Rusty Bucket Bay, and uh, where the fuck am I? Holy shit! Hey everybody, Fungasm here. I'm here playing Banjo Kazooie. Last time we defeated Rusty Bucket Bay, and now we're going on to fucking Click Clock Wood. Uh, I think we actually have to open up the worlds of Click Clock Wood because I don't think we did last time. But uh, yeah. These things are a pain in the ass. If you want to get past them, the easy way is just to use the fucking Wonder Wing and be on your way and do some crazy stuff, man. Awesome. Alright, so... Oh. Grunty's plan is rather cunning. When I'm thin, guys will be come running. Oh, baby. Alright, so... This is a completely new and last level of the world. It's a, it's a new area. Um... The entrance is right up there, but we need to open up the world and activate the puzzle in order to actually, you know, fucking open up the world. So, get out of here. Don't need your shit right now. Alright, let's get up these leaves. Or, yeah, leaves, I guess. There's another note door, but uh, we don't want to go in there yet because that's towards the end of the game. I'm pretty sure you actually do have to go through Click Clock Wood in order to like, beat the game. Like, you can't not skip Click Clock Wood. Anyway, here's the puzzle switch. Um, this, this opens up the puzzle near the beginning of the game, near Treasure Trove Cove. Um, which I'm pretty sure that room is meant to be for Fungi Forest. But since Fungi Forest got taken out of the game and put into Donkey Kong 64, it was never really... Well, yeah, it wasn't put in the game. Um... God, fucking damn that thing. Let's go back to the puzzle, and I'll see you there. Okay, and we're back near the uh, area where the puzzle is. Near the room where Treasure Trove Cove is as well. Let's go down here, and we swim underneath into the area where the alleged fungi forest room is. Slash puzzle room for... Uh, what was the word? What was the world name again? Click Clock Wood. That's right. Anyway, let's go ahead and open up this place. Yeah! Last level of the world, and probably the most tedious and annoying level to do. Although, the music is really great, so I can't really complain about being in the world for that long, because, you know, it's good music, and you just like to listen, like to, listen to it. Um, actually, one thing I didn't check before I started recording was the audio levels. Let me just check that real quick. I'll be right back. And I will guess I'll meet you in front of Click Clock Wood as well. And I'm back in the, uh, room where fucking Click Clock Wood is. I haven't really, um, used any of the cheats yet. I didn't input any of the cheats to give me more eggs or feathers or anything like that. Um, I think I'll do that probably at the end of the video just to show off before I get to the boss. Thing, or, not the end of this video, but the end of the next few videos whenever we start the boss and whatever at the end of the game. Anyway, this is Click Clock Woods. It's probably the best level in the game. Um, despite it being the most annoying to complete because there are four areas of the world. And the areas of the world are actually categorized by the seasons. So it's summer, fall, winter, and spring. Which is a really nice touch because, like, you get to see, like, how each world look or how, how each section looks in different, like, seasons. Which is really innovative for, like, a game for, like, the N64 era. Um, that's really about it. I mean, like, which one's the first one? The first one is Summer, I think. So let's go ahead and open up the Summer thing by hitting the switch. Yeah. Um, there is a decent amount of stuff to do in this game, or in this, um, level. Wait, that I walked the fall. Where is the Summer one? There it is. I'm dumb. Or, wait, no. Spring's the first one, I'm sorry. Anyway, spring's the first one, and let's go. I'm pretty sure also that the, um, that Click Clock Woods, oh god, that music. That lovely, amazing music. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that Click Clock Woods was one of the first game, or one of the first levels developed to be in the game, um, which is why it's probably so polished and so amazing and stuff. It's really, it's great sounding, I love it. The whole world is like, 
I don't know. It just has this whole, like, really good layout and design, and everything's just so happy, and the music's great, and I just love everything about it. Like, how can you not love this music, man? Like, really? Yeah. And also, these birds come out of here, and you can just kill them, and murder them. I don't even know. There are a lot of... The only thing I don't like about this level is that collecting notes in it is really obnoxious. Or not obnoxious, just bothersome. Because you have to, like... There are only some notes in each season, so, like, you have to go throughout it all. Like, if you miss one in, in one season, you have to go back to that season and try to get the notes again. And it's really just... tedious to try to backtrack to get those notes if you miss them. But then again, I guess that could also be said for the whole game, and so... Oh, God, I fell. Up. Oh. Aww. Let's go speak to Mumbo. Also, I completely ignored what she said. I didn't really hear. Um, do I want to use this now? No, I don't. Let's go back. I can go over there. That's the thing I can do. Get these notes over here. Nice. Um... Like I said in earlier videos, by the time I got to Gobi's Valley or so, I'm not really completely sure about what to do or where to go as to, f as like, where to get the jiggies and everything, but, um, I have a good, good thing, or, god damn it, I have a good sense of direction in this level, because I, I know the level is just, it's a pain in the ass to remember what to do. Or at least for me, it is anyway. Um, for the people starting out in this game, I feel really bad for them because they don't know where to go. Well, I guess that's part of the fun of exploring and everything. Um, anyway, let's see. What can we do in this... Get out of here, bird. Like, there's certain things you can do in each, like, season, and I don't know which one... God, that was close. Um, I don't know which one I can do here. I think I can do the bee fight thing, or, I don't know, when... okay, yeah, I can do the bee fight thing in here in spring, what else can I do in spring, I think in spring I can also do eerie or irie, what? no, no, that takes several things, so, fuck, I don't know, alright, let's go up the tree, going up the tree, yeah, what's over here, that is nothing. Not yet, anyway. Kill these birds. <laughs> it's so fun to look at them die. I don't know why it is, but it just is. Anyway, here's the beehive thing that we can we can do now. Um, we have to transform the transformation. Oh no, I missed it. Fuck. No, 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 no. Into the water. Or on the. Okay, I guess I didn't get hurt. Let's go back up to that beehive. <laughs> Another annoying thing about this level is that if you fall, like, because of the tree being so high up, every time you fall, you always end up, like, going down to the ground, which is just a pain in the ass to try to get back up. Um, it's not, uh, I, it's hard for me to say that it's a bad thing, because it, it is a good thing, and, like, it's, like, it makes sense for the level because it's a high up tree, but, yeah, it's just bothersome to get back up. And I need to stop using that word, bothersome. Anyway, uh, this, the bee thing. I don't think you can go in here as Banjo, and if you get, I think if you do go in here as Banjo, you actually get told off by the bees. Let's see if I'm right. The Zubbas, actually, that's what they're called. Oh, you can't even go in here yet. Anyway, I, I think you could go in as Banjo in a different season. I'm not really sure about that. I kind of forget, but... Aren't you just loving this music? My god. Anyway, jump up here. Bam! Go higher up the tree. Oh god, no, 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 no. Aww. That's bullshit. Oh god. I feel like there should be a lot of editing in this video, but just, just like me going back. Oh, really? Like, every time I fall, I want to edit like, back to the spot that where I was. I don't know if I should actually do that, though. Um... I guess I will, but... No. Because if I do that, then if I... Like, if I see anything on the way there, then you guys won't be able to see that, and you'll just be like, oh, 
maybe he just went directly there and nothing happened. But if anything did happen, I wouldn't have it recorded. So that could be a problem. Ah, oh, fuck. Anyway, I guess I'll just get back up there and fucking find where out the Find where the first Jiggy is, because that is probably my main priority right now. Getting the Jiggy. Yeah! God, I love that. I love this whole game, really. Like, this... No, 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 get back up! Fuck! I'll see you back up there. Fuck. <laughs> okay, so I'm back here up on the tree. Uh, I believe there's a house over here. Oh, that's not completed yet. Alright, so... Let's just go ahead and make our way to the, uh... Boardwalk thing over here. If the camera will work with me. Here we go. One thing I don't understand about this level is why the, these platforms are just floating like this. It really doesn't make sense. Anyway, here's the switch to open up Summer, which is good because we want that to happen. Dun 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 dun. Oh, God, I love this music. It's so good. Alright, anyway, we opened up summer, now we have spring and summer open. Let's go in here and see who's inside, because it seems to be a house. Nabnuts! Chomp! Chew! Nabnut likes acorns! I'll just eat a few more! One really cool thing about the, you know, seasonal thing going on with this world is that you can see how the characters, like, act in each season, so... I think even Mumbo himself, like, during the winter, he goes on vacation, he's just like, I'm not here, fuck you. Uh, is there anything else in here? No. I believe in one of the seasons, you can actually go inside this house, and there is a stop and swap egg on his bed. And, yeah. Anyway, let's go up the tree some more, because we still haven't found anything to give us a Jiggy yet. Pretty sure there is somewhere. Maybe with the beef transformation, I'm not really sure about that. Ekum Bokum. What's over here? Oh, this is Irie. Okay, we can hatch Irie for now, I think. Yeah, okay, we can do that. Irie is this giant, like, eagle that you have to raise and feed worms and shit. Boar! Me, Irie! Mighty eagle! Need sleep now. Yeah. <laughs> and it just falls asleep, and it's adorable, and it's a cute baby giant eagle. Isn't that adorable? It is. I'm telling you it is. Even if you don't agree with me, it's, I, I still think it's adorable, and that's my opinion. Anyway, um, I think if we go up here, there's a room with a bunch of, like, vines and everything that you can get a Jiggy in. I'm pretty sure that's in this one. Um, for that Jinjo, you have to be the B to get. Unless you want to get hurt and try to get it, but it's just better to get the B. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you could also use Wonder Wing, but yeah, the B is invincible to those claw trap things. There's a life over there. Gahuk? And there's our first Jiggy. Very good. Good job, Bancho. You finally you finally won something. Oh, God, I kind of swallowed my own like saliva there for a moment. Anyway. I'm pretty sure if you go up here, there's another thing. I forgot what's up here. It's like... Oh, it's just another life, which we don't really need. So, um, forget that. Let's get out of here. And I'm pretty sure that's the only Jiggy you can get right now. I'm pretty sure you can also fight the bees, but... Yeah, do you know what? Let's go fight the bees and get this Jinjo, because this Jinjo is taunting us. Look at it. What a dick. You know what? No, yeah, let's go, uh... Let's go down. Welp! I was that close from landing in the water. And I didn't. And I died. Aww. Now I have to collect all the notes again. Shit. Well, we have summer open, that's something, but yeah, I have to collect all the notes again. That's such a pain in the ass, man, really? Aw. Alright, let's do that again. At least we don't have to get the Jiggy again. I, do you know what? I can collect the notes as the bee. The bee will probably be a lot faster in collecting notes. And I get to hear this lovely music again. It's so nice and lovely. I think these guys are called um Grublin Hoods or whatever. Because, you know, the main character or the main baddies are like they're called Grublins or whatever. In like the lair of Grunty's Castle. Lair Grunty's Lair. Um, there is a hole down there that's covered by a rock. 
you know what? Uh, yeah, let's go speak to this guy because I'm pretty sure his name is Naughty, which is the same type of beaver that's... Yeah, see, Naughty. He's the same type of beaver that is the enemy in Donkey Kong Country. So he's like that little beaver that walks around in Donkey Kong Country, and that's a pretty cool thing that we did. Where am I going? I'm going to Mumbo's. Where's Mumbo's? Let's just go around, get the fucking bee transformation, and get the fuck out of here. And I guess collect the notes as well. Oh, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Let's, let's just go back up here. Um, I'm pretty sure in the summer those fucking, like, stumps turn out to be... I don't know why we have to watch that cutscene, but whatever. I'm pretty sure those little stump things turn out to be, um, like, full-grown leaves in the summer and in the fall or... I don't know. Anyway, let's go get Mumbo to turn us into a bee and we'll be... <laughs> we'll be... a bee. Oh, shit. Alright, there we go. Good. Anything on top of Mumbo's skull? I forget. Nope. Okay. Let's go! Turn into a bee, which is a really fun transformation, honestly. Uh, let's see what's up here. I don't think there's anything of importance up here besides, like, eggs and shit, but... It's always good to check. Anything but eggs? I don't think so. Nope. Nothing in the middle? Alright. Can't have magic! Look at sign! Uh, I'm one short, really? Fuck you! I guess I should have gotten the, those um, ones I skipped in Rusty Bucket Bay or whatever. Oh god, this sucks. Do you know what? I will return here when I get... No, because that's... Damn it, Mumbo, really? You're such a dick. Alright, what can I do? What can I do? I didn't really think I would run out. I thought I would be fine without collecting any more Mumbo skulls. Um, that's not a good thing at all. Shit. Well, at least you know what it looks like when you don't have enough Mumbo skills now, because fuck, I don't. Get out of the boots. There we go. Alright, what can we do now? I guess we can just go to Summer, because there's probably a... There's a Mumbo skull. Bam! Got you, bitch! Now I can turn into a bee! <laughs> and there are more notes over here. Are the I got these earlier, but yeah. 